Hello, I'm Ed Trillism and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, where we have uh, a few tweaks, alterations and additions to do this episode. I think we're going to focus on trying to just improve a few of our bits and bobs and also trying to make the best use of stuff like over here where we have bricks being made that we aren't really using. Like we have some of them being sent to these two locations, but we're not using as many as we could. There are far more bricks that we could send. Now, one of the things I've noticed is actually this train we set up to take fuel from down the bottom up to Kijistan is transporting a rate of 135. Kijistan wants 160. So we're actually never going to get the fuel up to the level we want it at. So, um, where are you? Manage vehicle. Right, you're there. Come up north. Oh, another train crossing in the front. It's a little car. Hi, little car. Meow. Where is this? We must be going past Fanian. So that must be Fanian over there. And then, yeah, we're coming up to the junction up here. Aha, correct. How's Fanian doing? By the by. Yeah, these passenger trains are really doing quite well. I'd make a lot of money from that and then... Fill back up. Is it going to be to max? I think it'll just be shy of max. Too shy of max. There we go. Alright, tanker through there. Speed up time. This bypass works amazingly. Oh, while well, I'm actually traveling, I did do some work down here because the entrance to here went to a setup which was for two passenger trains. I think we'll probably end up wanting Dahl Green to be growing as much as possible, and we want to make some changes to how Dahl Green functions. Make it a little bit more efficient because we do have crazy stuff like that happening right now. So I basically did what we did up at Kijistan. I basically moved. Uh, this train line over to the other side. I put a cargo platform in and then I did a mesh merge kind of thing and eased the curves here just to make them just a little bit faster because going in was actually pretty slow. Now, where are we? Are you still traveling? You are. You keep stopping. Where were you stopping? Oh, all the way down here? Okay. Right. I need you to go up and sell that fuel. Once you sell that fuel, I can change you. What I want to do is take a few tanks off the back so you can accelerate faster and then duplicate you so we can have a higher throughput on the line. Right. Bam. Look at that. 3.25 million. And go back to the depot. And bam. Amusingly, only the very front end fit in there. Okay, we're going to make some changes to you. And I think we'll just reduce your capacity to... 108, could go 99. We'll go of 117. Modify you. Duplicate you. And send you out on the fuel line. There we go. And now, if we look at this, the rate is just shy of 180. And we need 170, which is perfect. Provided they don't have any issues with slowing down at, you know, stop points or whatever. If that happens, we can add a couple more things here and there. It doesn't matter too much. 
Uh, this fuel here, how is our transportation? The rate is 83. We could add one extra one to that, so I'll just quickly pop down here. And actually, we can just do it by selecting the line, can't we? Manage vehicles, and then duplicate you. That way we've got four now. Hey, why are you coming in here to turn around? Shoo, get out of here. That's not allowed. Right. Now, some of the things I want to do. Extend this rail network through Greybury to Drakenford, so that when we're dropping off bricks at Drakenford, they can go to Greybury. Eventually, we can even get them over to Culloden, which would be great. Have you upgraded yet? You have. Sweet. You're maxed out now. You can actually make about 400 fuel. If we do that, then we can sell a whole load of bricks. I think we also might want to make a change. Yeah, dull green. Oh, hello. Probably trains have got head to head. Dull green, it's grown. These lines we have don't really work as well anymore. They're a mess. And what I think we'll do instead of focusing on industrial line, residential line, residential line, commercial line, or whatever we have at the moment, we'll probably just have a loop, a loop, a loop, and a loop, and make it just area based so they're a bit more efficient. What's gone wrong? Oh. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to turn you around. Yeah, so you were let in and blocked the station. So we should quickly just pop in here. We'll let you turn back now. That shouldn't happen, but... I kind of cocked that one up. How's this going to be treated? You're going to wait. You're going to go past. Fine. What will happen now is likely that this entire area will be kept clean if any train is transiting through it which I can't really avoid because it's also merged together. I had very little space, sadly. That's the, the downside of how we've devised this. Like, look at this. Uh, we have that as a merge point. We've got this as a merge point. In fact, I'm standing up here to an extent. Um, this is an entire merge point. Down here, we've done it in such a tiny area. It's about a third, a quarter of the area we normally have. Let alone this extended merge just to be able to get them together. And that doesn't include trying to then go to a T-junction. Really? Have you locked or are you just waiting? I think you're just waiting. Oh, it was auto-saving. Okay, there was actually no problem there. Great. Right. I'm going to have a quick look at Dull Green, And I will get back to you in a moment with the new plan. I'll probably wipe out the existing bus lines as well. Okay, so I have deleted all the old bus stations, put some new ones in. I think I've divided the area into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments. Because one of the segments would be just this train station area, which is kind of covered by a lot of other things. And of course, we do have a large bus depot here. So that said, let's start putting in lines. Uh, we're we'll just going to limit to what's on the screen. One. As you come out of here, you go up this road here. Then you turn in here and here. And that should be a pretty simple route. Obviously, this is going to be quite a busy station. Uh, we're going to do a new line here, 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 here. And then you're actually going to come down this internal street, which also is fine. Uh, means we're going to be putting less onto this road and then crossing at this junction. I'm a bit worried about this junction. So that should work a treat. New line. Here. 
we will stop here as well. Again, a little bit worried about this one. Here. 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 Now, you're going to come all the way down here. That's good. New line. And then here. 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 And that does this section. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think it will be. Yeah. You. To here. To here. And I think to here. Yes. And then, do we want to grab that one or not? We don't have to. I think we will. And then new line there, down the road to there, on the other side of the street, because some of these are doubles. Then here. Now, this is actually a double here. I was very tempted because they're very close, but this actually hits a slightly different area of the city. Here. 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 So, a bit of a bigger one. And then here. 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 And there's actually no bus stop. Oh, there is a bus stop for that. Eh. And then that hits that area. Uh, it looks like it isn't getting the center so much. We could maybe make some changes to that, but I think it actually gets from there, 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 and there entire coverage. And that's our seven lines. We are going to have to name them. I'm also going to have to recolor this one because it is way too close to some of the ones that exist. Uh, line one and line seven are just a bit too close. So we're going to make you red. And you are going to be uh, road passenger DGN. Um, what are you going to be called? You're just people, right? You're just tools. Uh, so we're just going to call you number one. And then we're going to have to do this to a few of them. So RP DGN number two. RP, DGN, number three, because I know they go through certain districts and we were going with industrial, commercial, residential, but now I'm just really going for separate the city into zones. So RP, DGN, number four. RP, DGN, number five. RP, DGN, number six. That did not go well. And then RP DGN number seven. Okay. That's a lot of vehicles. Okay. You. Buy vehicle. We have the new post bus, which costs 10.5k per year as opposed to 6.5. But it is. 8 as opposed to 6, and has a top speed of 16 as opposed to 12 miles an hour, and 20 kilowatt power. Uh, loading speed is actually faster as well, which is good, because we don't want people like bottling up next to some of those more popular uh, bus stops. I think we had one that was 70 were going literally just over the road. So, we'll buy you, and we will buy, we'll do a bulk buy. We've got seven lines. I think we wanted to put three on each line for the moment. We might change that later. So we'll just get 20. Uh, no, we'll go 21. Why not? We'll actually do three on every line. Okay, limit to what's on screen. And if we zoom in really far to here, we should see just those seven. Yeah. Okay, one. Two. Three. Four, five, 
six, seven. Now, of course, we've only got the few terminals here. So what I'm going to do is probably just say anyone going to a similar destination uses the same terminal. So number one and two should be on terminal one. Uh, there we go. We're going to turn off for the moment. Number three and number four should be on terminal two. And five and six should be on terminal three. There we go. And actually, that might be wrong. Because any coming from this direction should be going in here rather than crossing there. Like, this isn't actually getting very much use now because of that. Might need to invert that. I know we only just did it, but I should put you on... Ah. On terminal four. And I think we then see... Yes, you actually enter here. No one else is coming from this direction. Oh, no, no. You are. Terminal four. Terminal one. There we go. Actually inverting that helps. Yeah, both of those are coming in there now. That should work. I'd prefer if purple came in here, but there's no way to really do that other than if we set up like a waypoint or something. Also, look at how broken that is. We'd have to set up like a waypoint and then say turn around, come back. I think that will probably be fine. We do have one, two, three... Four colors coming in there as opposed to two here. But it's okay. Probably. Sure. Right. Let's see if this works. Also, let's have a look at our new post buses. Hi there. Oh, look at them! Isn't that adorable? That's pretty adorable. Okay, we're gonna... Right, while you're en route... Do we have many people waiting? Getting a few people waiting. Ooh, eight there already, actually. That's quite a lot. DGN number five looks very popular already. Which one's DGN number five? This one. A DGN number five is very popular. 21 there. Oof. Okay, bring it. Little motor car behind us. Okay, they're actually starting to flow onto their road. 24 waiting for their... Oof. I think while we're doing this, we're actually going to go and start the date moving again. We could have put a tram system in. I haven't actually played around with trams or even remotely touched them. Something I should probably experiment with and see if that works. What have we got here? Uh, a few people here and there, not many. We probably bought twice as many buses as we needed to. Yeah, DGN number five needs people transferred to it. That's okay, because some of the other lines don't have that many people. But DGN number five needs at least two more buses. At a quick guess. Here we have DGN number five turning in down here. I 
And you already have a lot of people in there. Sorry. Yeah, not many people got picked up. DJ number five is 20... Sorry, 43. Wow. Okay, we need to just give it a little time, find out which lines just don't get used. And then transfer people over to DGN. You know what? I'm going to transfer six over to Terminal 1. Give DGN its, its own terminal. I'm thinking I'm going to switch that to Terminal 2. Just so we're kind of going in reverse number order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. It looks like it's all flowing relatively well. Do you even need to do a drop off here? For dark blue? We could probably get rid of the park lane on the dark blue one. No one's waiting there for it. Dark blue isn't on that line. Oh, you're just turning around there. You don't actually drop off. Ah, because you picked up here. You're still in this outside lane. So I get you. That's a bit frustrating. Okay. They should have enough time to get a kind of vague idea. Yeah. Five is the only one actually making any money here. DGN three is critically bad. So we'll transfer you to five. Who else is particularly not doing great? One and six. We'll transfer someone from one. With road buses, unlike with a lot of other stuff, you know, when we're doing cargo, we're like, hey, let's just throw a lot of it at the problem. And normally I still underestimate with road, completely different. Especially considering they've upped the number of people on a single bus now. Some of these lines are probably one bus lines at best. Uh, we can keep transferring people to DGN. There's enough lines there. Who else? Honestly, six, seven, and two, probably. There we go. You've got nine vehicles now. Probably overkill even for you. That's better. You're actually making about 20k. Everything else is losing far more money than you're making, but... We'll see. A part of this is definitely expansion, right? We're definitely expanding our city. Uh, we've got a lot of room up here that we're providing for when no one is actually living. And that's completely fine. How are we doing down here on fuel now? You're fully upgraded. Okay, you don't quite have enough fuel here yet for a full load. You're transferring 81. You're transferring 74. And there's... Is that a full load of fuel now? Yeah, almost a full load of fuel. Just shy.
How much fuel are we getting up to here? Still short of what we need. Train 7. Which one's train 7? Ah, wooden planks and stuff. Okay, well, we'll wait until new trains get unlocked, because you are pretty old. Now, Kidgeston actually has 568 residents now. That's incredibly high. Did we just unlock a new bus? We just unlocked a new bus. I just bought a... It's 25 miles an hour as well. I just bought a new bus, damn it. That's actually more residents than Dahlgren. I really want to try and provide machine parts to Dahlgren. Just see if we can buff it really far. You actually making money? I think you are. Yeah, apparently three quarters of a million, so definitely making money there. Okay. What else are we going to do today? Uh, we were going to consider extending the line down here for bricks. Uh, that line would also then be useful if we wanted to go in and use this for food or wood to here for planks and then planks to here and steel to here for machine parts, machine parts to Shadowland and to Dark. I can see this working. I think this line is going to be very useful. Probably end up being a main line as well. Yeah, there's also all this corn around here. We can make really good use of this. Uh, of course, there's not quite enough wood. One here. If you get upgraded, we'll need a second one. Maybe transfer this. Okay. How do we do for brick? Yeah. What about you? You need to ship more. How about you? Vaguely okay. How are we doing for transportation? Still not transporting enough. And how are we doing here for transportation? 100%. That's fine. Okay. Let's have a think about putting a train line in. Uh, obviously, we're going to pull off here. And what we'll probably do is connect here. which is going to be interesting because we're going to have just that much room, which is enough, but not perfect. And then we'll pull off there, come down here past Greybury. How do I want to correct Greybury? We could connect it on the side as a passing station, or we could connect it as a terminus. Hmm. There is obviously this big mountain range, which is going to be a pain. Uh, if we wanted to go direct, we'd put a tunnel in. Curving around there is going to be difficult. Wait, train one's still running? Oh yeah, it's one of our very first iron ore trains. Nice. Curving around here is going to be a pain, because that's a very sharp turn to do. So we're probably going to have to go for a, a proper tunnel. The problem is in future, the train that goes on that tunnel there will want to connect up to a lot more things down here. Let's see how it works out. So, first things first, give it a little bit of space there. And then, this is probably only going to be 70. Uh, 69 might have to do. Okay, and then connect up here. Okay, quitting the speed. Uh, words. I'm not quite getting the speed I want on this. And since this is going to be a main line, I think it's very important to try and get this right. 56 is very low. All right, 61 will do. Uh, 
Okay, and then you. 57, 55, 51. That's so not good enough. Now, one of the things I have been thinking of is that we don't necessarily need to do two double tracking in here. Technically, because we drive on the right, we want to be able to connect the right one fully over. The left one, because it comes this way, could not double track. Let's try experimenting with that. Yeah. Oop, oop, oop. So in this case, this becomes the outside one. I think we're only going to hit 61. Oh, actually, we need to go this way, so we've got a lot more angle to do. Something like that, because we're going to need to be able to connect the other one, so it's going to get messy. And that is the one that crosses. Then for you, we do something like that, so they're planted right next to each other. But only this one crosses, and it doesn't technically even need a double slip switch. Here's the thing, it wants to cross to the outside lane. It is continuing to go in the same direction. It doesn't need to double slip because the double slip here would be for if it wants to go on the wrong side, which it doesn't need. We don't need to double slip. Now, double slipping does give us advantage of if we end up reversing a train to avoid a collision or something, it could then change which one it's on. But technically, we don't need that. So I'm going to avoid double slipping for the moment because it will prevent, also prevent the trains from doing something dumb. Um, this, because it's that way, will want to connect to this side. This is what we're going to have a harder time with. Yeah, notice that speed is massively different. And that's because technically we have to like turn really hard. Now we could make some adjustments to this. And I think that's probably what we'll do. because this train track was put in a long time ago. Sixty-nine is, you know, fine. There we go, fifty-eight. We'll go with it. Now, the thing this allows us to do is we can actually come off this curve. So we could grab, say, here and come off that and look at that. We're holding a much higher top speed. In fact, 75, we can actually make some adjustments to our existing line. What does that connect here? So we will place next to. Can't extend that far, okay. Right, we do have a 54 up here, which I'm not particularly pleased about. Why is that? Let's try again from further up. You're apparently not allowed to do that, but we're allowed to do this. So, oh, there's a 59. That's fine, actually. That track there is a 59. So, we'll take a 75. I'm just going to have to then bring it back in. Which does bring us down a little bit. Small section of 71 before joining up. 
Now, we're just going to have to be very careful of this as a junction. Because we've now made this junction far more complicated because it's actually technically a one, two, three, four way. That's way too close to separate into two junctions. So we're going to have to do something with the track points, but whatever. Um, this here doesn't need to be anywhere near as sharp as we've made it. So it can maintain a much higher speed through that bend. So, boop. So yeah, we do get down to a 69 there. Yeah, we get down to a 69. Um, and then we'll want to do the same thing from here. Now, we will need to just accept that and then continue the next part because it's going to get complicated. There we go. Told you it would do it. It's going to start complaining about merging these tracks. There we go. I'm also tempted to double slip this. I don't think we need to. But it would give us options when we're transferring around these tracks here. Eh, I think we're probably fine. Okay, in which case, uh, no need to double slip, no need to double slip. Let's do the signaling for here. So we we'll want to get rid of existing signals because these are wrong and are going to cause issues. Uh, in that sort of sing-songy voice. Right. Technically, I'm not going to put the one way on them. Probably should. Right. That signaled. That's a pretty easy one. That entire air is signaled like that. And down here. That gets signaled. And we could probably put a signal in halfway considering how long this is. Yeah. This is definitely a large turning. It might actually be one of our bigger ones. Bigger than that, bigger than that. Yep. This is definitely the biggest turning we've got. Right. Then we're going to bring you down. And due to the size, I'm kind of feeling that we'll go past Greybury and have a side station so we can go in at speed. The issue is going to be we're going to end up passing across the track doing so. Uh... Do we want to do that? Probably not. How are we going to avoid that? Probably not is also the answer. Uh, if we did that, going in and out of the station would be frustrating. Let's just use the terminus. It might be a bit slower going in and out. And use a cargo station terminus now. And we're going to need to back it all the way up to here. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. But one of the things I did up here in Kijistan between episodes is I moved this lorry a truck depot from here where it was out of range to in range of the station it was something that i noticed that i did and that was completely broken <laughs> right we're gonna want to bring this rail up here oh that's gonna be annoying Oh, 
Now let's do this end first. Oh, is this a hill we're going up? Yeah, that's why we're doing this silly rise here. We're actually going uphill. I didn't mean to. Tunneling? I don't want to tunnel if I can avoid it. How else would we do it? We'd have to have... How big a rise is this? It's a gentle rise. How would that be? Pretty flat. But this is going to be a rise anyway going up here, so I don't actually mind putting a bit of rise in. Just to make sure we don't go too ham on it. How much bend can we get? There we go, that's the amount of bend we can get. Continue on. We've ended up bridging if we're not careful. Okay, that's a very long bridge. Hell no. How high up did we go? I guess that is a relatively large bump. Trains are getting more traction these days. Probably okay. I don't like doing that, but probably okay. Okay. With that set up, We'll double the line. Luckily, the system should be pretty robust. So if I go here, it does not work. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this in sections. But I've got a lot of money in the bank account. How does that look? Relatively realistic. This maybe is a bit too high. That looks kind of fine. That's a bit steep, but otherwise okay. Right, connecting onto this, we can use that curve a little bit, but it's still going to be tight. Uh, we could, honestly, we could just come out of here and go straight up here, but it would then make connections with other places more difficult. So I'm going to just go on the side of caution and we're going to connect like that. Which actually is pretty fast. I didn't realize it was going to be quite so good. Uh, we should actually, before we do that then, Make sure we've got a small area flat so that if we expand this, we have room to do uh, merging areas. Because this is probably going to be some place that will eventually hook up to a passenger transportation. Uh, we'll maybe want other cargo terminals, you know, that sort of stuff. So, And the speed difference is, if anything, minor. If anything, actually better. Yeah, 75 throughout. Okay, let's just bring that back a little bit. Yeah, that's 75 throughout. Huh. I guess let's just make use of a bit more of this flat. It's 74, I'll take it. Done. And then this one. It's 
60. That's okay. Right, merged and on. Of course, this is only a one-way platform, so I've kind of done this a bit dumb. Planning for the future. Should have set it up differently. Should have done something along the lines of... Second line. Up to here. Click yes. Double slip. And then... Put a merge at the end. For now. Like, obviously, this is very temporary. That does make that a 34 miles an hour. We don't need this road. Shoot. Go away. Right. That works. Now, just to bring it round all the way to here, which is complete and utter mess, I guess we could just tunnel in. It would mean the entire junction is going to be in a tunnel. I'm so tempted to saying screw it, why not? Like, how big a turn is this going to be? It's going to be slow. It's going to be very slow because we've got to turn like 280 degrees. Is that 280? 270? It's 180, 170. It's more than that. It's like 315 or something. 310 degrees, I think. Like, that is a big turn. Oh, no, it's not. It, we're straight, straight ahead. Right, okay, yeah. That's a turn of 90 degrees would be to there. Derp. What am I even thinking? Oh, this is like a turn of 130 degrees. I don't know how slow it'll be. Let's have a look. We can waste money checking this kind of thing out. That's going to need to be a tunnel. But if we didn't have it being a tunnel, if we had just a really short area of tunnel there, and then we tried to turn it. 56? 57? 58? Yeah, 58 is the best we could get, and that would be including an area of bridge there. Like, for now, that kind of is okay. But it's very, very quickly going to get old. I think we might need to do a little bit of semi-tunnel. I don't want to go full under. Let me just delete the... Yeah, there we go. Yes, you want to delete individual trees in a forest. Might take a while, mate. We go to 75. We can. Okay. Right, let's hold that 75. Done. Done. And so this tunnel extends from here all the way to here. Right. Uh, I think it's pretty simple where we're going to end up dumping the train station. I'd love to dump it near the port, but it's probably going to be right here. You probably guessed that as much. This is a very obvious place to put the train station. The other choice would be put it like on the side or something. Let's have a look. Building, cargo terminal station. That would be connected. That would be connected as well, but not to the port. This would not be connected to the port either. Unless we came in from this angle over here, or we did a side mounted station. That's actually not connected to the port either. Oh, that would be connected to the port. 
We might actually do a side-mounted station. Or we could just nuke the residential home. That actually doesn't work. Okay. Sure. And then, because we've done that... Right. We could do that and avoid that building, but eh. Right, relatively straight line. Then 75. And that, my friend, is our connection. Just so this is a smooth curve. Funny enough, that's cut into the train for a very long way. Hmm. Bring that in. And then, here's the funny part, if I put that in, I bet it will give me an opportunity to slip switch that. But for some reason I can't merge it there. We can get a 52. That's not good enough for me. We want, we want good speeds. That's, that's bad. We won't accept that. Only the best speeds for us. That's really, really bad. We'll just do the merge up here. As boring as it might be. Really? No merge? Really? I'll take the 65. Done. Okay, and that gets us bricks from here to here. And then we'll in future allow us to do machine parts over here which we can take to multiple places, like Revisionistan, Rainian, Dahl Green, all want machine parts. So that can get connected. Oh, and Shadowland as well. Yeah, that's gonna be very useful. Okay, let's quickly go through and plop some signals down. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, what we haven't done, because this is a single road, no one coming this way can get in. That is my bad entirely. Completely forgot about that. Right, come off here at 75. That's going to be a 58 slowdown there. Fine. And then the reverse has to be true as well. So... This 
This is going to end up incredibly messy because I've screwed this up. Um... You want to come in like that. We can fix it at a later date when we expand this, but. And that should work. It's a mess. You're coming from there on that side. You're going that side. That all is in theory fine. It's probably completely cocked up now, but whatever. Uh, I'm just going to ignore it and move on, which is sometimes the best advice in life you can get. Like seriously, fixating on a thing will not fix it. And honestly, we can fix that in post. If we have a train that has an issue, we'll fix it then. I know it's a mess though. It's a horrific mess. But we're going to do the best and ignore it. It's also very over engineered for a single station. That's because we're planning for the future. down. There we go. That is badly placed. Probably want to place one before they actually merge. There we go as well. Okay, that should work. So what we want is bricks going from here to here. Is there anyone else that wants bricks? Attached to our line? No, not unless we go up to like Davit Gate or something. Gregory wants uh, 59 bricks, so that'll increase our sale odds. Claudine would want 80, which is one of the things that I'm really interested in, just trying to hook that up. Uh, we'd probably hook it up from the mining area, which is unfortunately very heavily trafficked. And that's something that we can maybe look into, changing the trains there for faster trains as they get unlocked. Hmm. But using that infrastructure at the moment would be slow. And also, what if I have a lot of tunnels? The alternative is we extend this and make it instead of just a station feeder, is it actually goes through. Hell, we could even change the station over into a side-mounted station and then push through bridge here into Claudine, which might be a much better plan, even if that bridge is going to be expensive. But for now, we're going to want a train. And I don't mind ordering the train up here. Oh, wait, we're going to want a line first. Derp. Don't wait for a full load, just go. And you're going to be train cargo from, what was it, DRAC? Oh, DKF to Gray. And you would be bricked sail. I like the system. It's easy to, easy to get what things are. Right, you. New vehicle. I feel there's new locomotives coming, but since they're going to be a while away, we'll grab you. Oh, there's no point grabbing you. These cars can't do higher than 50. PLM, then. Right, we want bricks. Flat card with side stake.
Now, if we're planning for the future, we really want to increase the amount you can carry. Like, we'd go for something along the lines of max length. As it is, you don't need to carry that much. You need to carry half that, so we'd be somewhere in the region of... Uh, one more. That. Which is a lot faster. But, since we are planning for the future, we'll put in the max length, which is uh, 160. There. Okay. Bam. Please do me... the honor of going on the brick to sail line. Look at that. Little, little cars there. Hello, little cars. I think we will upgrade this bit of road here. Yes, I know we're kicking people's houses out of the way. I'm a terrible person. We also have a lot of money. That's how terrible people think. I'm sorry, Tanker. You're going to have to slow down. Maxed out on that fuel, though. How much money do we make for that? Two point five million. Mm hmm. That'll do it. Okay, pretty fast so far. Nice 37 miles an hour, which of course the maximum is for the locomotive. Ah, uh, but you're waiting here. Why are you waiting here? Ah, uh, because you were crossing and you didn't cross immediately. You should have crossed immediately rather than crossing up here. Ugh. That's a little frustrating. I guess we can actually solve that. Then we turn on one way. And that way you should cross immediately. Same can be said for any of these crossings, but I'm not bother changing them if they don't need changing. You not gonna go, cars? Cars? No? All right, feel free to just stay there. For some reason. We are going to have two trains coming very close. Hello. Okay, you're on new track now. Question is whether there's actually any brick for you. Probably not. One of our issues is we actually need more uh, ships taking these bricks. Where is our... There we go. By vehicle. Right, you can take 110 brick. You're 100 brick. You are faster though. Loading speed is slower. We'll just get more Genara Castle. I think we'll get two this time around. Yep, 
Okay, where's our train? Hi there. Aren't you going to accelerate time to four times speed? Oh, hello. Camera, come back. Okay, coming up now. No bricks being left. Because we aren't even providing them bricks you want. You actually want 70 now. How many bricks do you have on board? 63. I might deliberately slow you down. You know what? I'll just stop clicking on this train. I can't do it, obviously. Please deliver some bricks. There's more bricks coming than the town needs, so... There we go! We did get bricks. We got two bricks. Okay. Oh! Top oil and truck. Truck with stakes. Okay, so we got a new truck. I wonder how much two bricks are worth. Just two. I will be very little. Oh, hello. The Schaffhausen. I can slow down time. I want to have a look at that. It's small. 130, 20 miles an hour. Ooh. A flush deck side wheeler. It was the last paddle boat steamer. That's pretty good. A little bit slower at loading, but the extra speed in the compartments, I think we'll end up switching over a lot of our normal cargo ships to that. Okay, I'm interested to see if you slow down in the rise and fall of the track. You aren't so far. Yeah, the track seems to be maintaining pretty level throughout this. Oh, and there we go. A bad engine. 56 miles an hour. Looks like a freight pulling one. Much closer to the speed of the actual things we need. Uh, our car's being only 50 miles an hour. How much did it sell for? 27,000 for two bricks. It's not, not terrible. Could be a lot worse. Now, of course, we're going to have to put in like a little truck system to actually be able to provide the... Yeah, wrong one. Some of these with access to bricks. Not a lot of them, though. Actually, much of this is covered by the station, so we can probably wait until we put the truck system in later on. Uh, let's quickly check the rate of the line. 216. We need 50 here. 70 there, so it's 120. 180, yeah. Later on, that could be 260. Oh, and camera's decided to fly away. Thank you, camera. You're always so helpful. And yeah, this has upgraded now. It can produce 300 bricks. Obviously, it says we're shipping about 180, which from our quick, like, back of the notebook sketches, yeah, 180 is what it's looking at. Uh, and the line was, what was it again? 216, yeah. 
We want to try and get that up, which means we'll need to increase line capacity and increase the uh, train network to be able to get to Colodine. Oh, that's totally possible. I think that's probably something we'll try next time. Maybe even start on the machining, because I really want to try the machining out. That seems like a lot of fun. And then shipping it up to Dahl Green. What else could we try? If we make excess fuel, we could take some to Solarium. Bricks needed here. We could try and make some bricks over here, but it seems a bit of a waste. Kind of ignored this area of the map a bit, haven't we? We've got a grain processing going on, which is not even leveled up yet. Where are all of our boats? Oh, they're all here at the moment. Okay. We are transporting most of the grain there. And we're producing most of the grain there. We're transporting most of it away. Okay. Yeah, we would need to add another farm to boost that. And then, of course, we need to sell more. We're selling 36 here. 30 here, that's 65-ish. Um, speaking of which, about 110. And we're shipping about 93, so roughly similar numbers. We need to find more buyers. Davit Gate would take 50. But we're really looking at going beyond our local vicinity to really sell that, which means train. And there just isn't enough reason to send a train up there to transport, you know, 50, 40 food. One of the reasons we did the train to Kijistan is it wanted so much fuel. In fact, it wants so much fuel, I'm not sure you can actually make that much without really pushing it. Yeah. Why is your production a little bit low? I guess because we don't demand enough fuel, maybe? How's the transport rate? 400 exactly. 400 exactly on all of those. 430. Okay, and how's the transport rate here? 151. Technically not enough. Kyrgyzstan wants 170 now. Huh. I guess the new engine might solve that. Let's have a look at the new engine before we finish for today, just because I'm really interested. So, less power, a little bit less tractive effort. But much cheaper, only a little slower. So it will take time to get up to speed and it will have a lower top speed. But it's also much cheaper doing it. Okay. That seems fair. Uh, also seems like something we would use for our cargo because the cargo wants to go up to 50 and that goes to 56, so much closer. We wouldn't be wasting most of the money. Okay, for now, I've been Andrew Elysium. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. They always go way longer than I intend. If that is a problem, let me know down below. But until next time, when we're probably going to be looking into modifying our brick system to take bricks to Colodine and probably upgrading a lot of our ships over here. Yeah. That's what we do next time. Until then, stay shiny.